You could hold me. We could do it upside like down. Like a wheelbarrow race? <laughs> no, we should do rapid fire upside down. Nah, not gonna happen. <laughs> hey Wildcat Sports fans, thanks for joining us today. I'm here with Chico State decathlete JP Smith for another episode of Chat with a Cat. There's nothing to it. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings. So I know that you're a reigning two-time national champion. Mm -hmm. Can you please explain to us what the 10 events are that go into being a decathlete? Sure, yeah. Um, the first day, it's a two-day event, is the 100 meters, um, the long jump, the shot put, the high jump, and the 400, which is one lap on the track. The second day is the 110 meter high hurdles, the discus, the vault, the javelin, and then the 1500 meters, which is like the metric mile. And which would you say is your favorite event? Probably the hurdles. I. It's not my best event, but I, it incorporates a lot of things in track and field, like you know, speed, agility, flexibility, things like that. And I just really enjoy it. It's challenging. What would you say is your least favorite event? Uh, the shot put. It's a 16-pound ball, and I'm not a very big guy, and it's just it's a struggle. It always has been. So you're going into your fifth year as a senior. How has your experience been here at Chico State? It's been amazing. Um, the journey from the start to where I am now, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. I've had a lot of support from our coaches, and the training staff, and you know, my roommates are also on the track team, and it's just great. Um, I really didn't expect anything like this to happen as far as how much track and field would become a part of my life, and you know, the people that are, that are in it. It came, became more than just a sport. You know. mm -hmm. And what made you choose Chico over all the other schools? Um, to be honest, I wasn't really recruited out of high school at all, and uh, I knew that Chico State had a, a really good Division II program just because I've actually been up here a lot. My grandparents live in town, oh. so between my family up here and uh, the fact that they, I knew they had a good track team, so I made me want to come here. And how has your experience been running for Oliver? Uh, Oliver's great. You know, I, I started working with um, Kirk Freitas at the beginning, and he retired, and Oliver's probably my favorite coach I've ever had. And, um, you know, he's great, he's funny, he, he's really good at the paperwork type stuff. He, he knows every event really well, he was a decathlete himself. And he just, he puts so much work into the team. Like, I, I have so much respect for him as a, as a person and a coach. Hey JP, so in order to get to know you a little bit better, uh -huh. I want to play Rapid Fire. <laughs> I'm going to throw some questions at you, you got to answer them as fast as you can. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. If you were a Disney princess, who would you be? Jasmine. What's your favorite place to go to in Chico? Oh, the bear. <laughs> Most embarrassing song on your iPod? Ooh, Taylor Swift. I knew you were trouble. Okay. <laughs> if a zombie apocalypse were to break out, what would be your weapon of choice? Oh, a golf club. I don't know why. <laughs> Me neither. Are you okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. If you were in a beauty pageant, what would be your talent? Ooh. Um... I got nothing. What's been your most memorable <laughs> moment of this interview? This right here. Well, JP, thanks for hanging out today on Chat with the Cat. So I know the men's track team here has won the last 10 CCAA titles. So what are your guys' goals for this upcoming track season? Um, you know, obviously we're going to try to win another year, just keep the ball rolling, things like that. But uh, Oliver's kind of changed his mentality a little bit. He, um, he always called, I've been here five years, and it's the whole time he's called our training, we're always training for this one weekend in May, which was the conference meet. And uh, now he thinks we're maybe strong enough to compete at the national level as, as a team, and so he's changed his term to competing two weekends in May. And so I think our largest goal, apart from winning conference, is to try to put forth a good effort at the national meet and maybe come back with a team title of some kind. So this is your last year of eligibility. Do you have any plans for track post Chico State? Uh, yeah, that kind of depends on how well I do this year, but um, I definitely do. One of my, my goals for a little while now has been to try to compete at the next level. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people say that, but the nice part about track is that so much of it is exact amounts. So, you know, there's a measurement or a time, things like that. So last year, um, after my national decathlon, I was pretty close to being able to go to the U.S. Championships. Uh, they accepted 16 to that track meet, and I, I was 18. So I'm hoping this year, um, with some, hopefully some improvement, I'll be able to get into that meet. And that's kind of the doorway into that whole world. All right, JP, so now it's time for your challenge quest. These guys have a football game going on over here. 
So the challenge is we have to get into their football game and try to score a touchdown. Sound good? Yes. Let's do it. The drive, you really gotta go up one. All right, all right, so I need you two out there. You hike to me, you're gonna just do a straight to the end zone, Lenny. Straight to the end zone. Ready? On four, break. Oh, oh yes. I like this. On four. Okay. Team Blue Four Two! Watch it, watch it, right here! Watch it, approach me! Run, 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 run! Ready! Well, that's all we have for today, so thanks JP for coming out today on Chat with the Cat. Thanks for having me. Ugh. <sighs>